Well, here we are in the end of March, and a lot of people are eagerly anticipating mango season. If you are in South Florida, you might have experienced a nice bloom on your tree and a nice fruit set. The weather has been good for us in general, and we have a lot of fruit hanging on the trees. Of course, there's a lot of developing and growing of that fruit uh, before it's ready to eat. We've got probably two months for most varieties, and that can seem like an eternity if you are looking at your fruit all the time. But at this point, there are some really good things you can do for your fruit and for your tree. Uh, if you have a fruit bearing tree and you expect to get the fruit from it this season, do not add nitrogen to your tree at this point. It affects the fruit quality and not in a good way. Uh, but you can add nutrients that, like pretty much all nutrients except for nitrogen. Uh, we happen to sell zero nitrogen fertilizer. That's one of the options. Um, but there's definitely, the spring and the fall are two good times to, to provide nutrients for your tree. Besides providing nutrients to the tree, one really good thing to do at this time of year is thin the fruit. Now, the trees normally do that anyway. There's, they just drop fruit because a lot of times they have set more fruit than they can develop. Sometimes you can see a fruit that's yellowing. That one is going to drop. It still is being supported by the tree, so the sooner you get it off, the more energy there is to go to the remaining fruit on the tree. Uh, but this is lemon meringue or popucale, and it tends to set a lot of fruit. Not all of these should form. The goal is like two fruit per panicle. Fruit. Right here, we have an example of mixed bloom, which usually decreases the amount of fruit that gets set. But there were four mangoes that are hanging right now. And this one is starting to yellow. That does not mean it's going to be ready to pick. This is going to drop off the tree on its own. So let's cut it off now so that the rest of the mangoes have more energy from the tree. So this one and then this little one here is also scarred. Easy decisions. We took off these two fruit and we have these nice fruit remaining. So those should develop nicely. Here's an example of mixed bloom. Uh, mixed bloom is because of having periods of cool and warm and not a definitive cold snap. And so the fruit that we're hanging have already fallen off and we have leaves remaining on this panicle. Every time you see this situation, cut it off. This will never be normal. This will never be a normal branch. It will eventually die and it's best just to cut it back to normal growth. What I do often is cut off the first few leaves, makes for better branching. So in this area, we have a lot of this mixed bloom. Even though this looks like new growth, it is actually mixed bloom without any uh, blooms remaining. So cut it back. This one also, this, is, this part of the tree just has a lot of it. Uh, this, I'm, you know, it's a very wimpy, um, it's quasi branch. It's really a panicle, so we'll just cut it off. So even though it's March, you can definitely give your tree more nutrition, just not nitrogen. Thin the fruit, you know, you take off the fruit that is looking like it's not going to last to full maturity and also thin the fruit when there's too many uh, mangoes on one panicle. Uh, with mixed bloom, if there's no fruit set, cut the, the uh, panicle back to normal growth. And one last thing that you can do is when you have um, instance like this, where you have some of these shoots of the panicle that have not uh, held fruit, trim them off because what can happen is the 
can rub against the skin of the fruit and cause abrasions. So basically just try and make the environment as friendly as possible for your developing fruit.